Yeah, it's a small Kodak. Yeah, these things are cool. What was the, the very first ones they had? The flip flip? Yeah, uh, I used to have one of those. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so here we have our new second generation 3D BIOS. And the basic concept of 3D BIOS, I'm not sure if you've seen this before, is that we're, we're trying to make a more visual environment so that more entry level and um, maybe perhaps people who aren't used to using a BIOS can go into BIOS and they can kind of have more idea about what each part of the motherboard, how it works, and what kind of settings and configurations you can change within the, uh, within the BIOS environment. So for example, if, uh, if I just mouse over here, you'll see that it tells me that these are the expansion slots. It gives me a brief description of what happens here and what kind of options you expect to find inside. As you can see, there are some options there related exactly to those PCI slots. If we uh, click over here, for example, we get drive control features. This uh, is actually features for the BIOS itself. Over here we have 3D power. This is quite interesting. So we can make adjustments to the phase, voltage, current, and also the thermal settings of the motherboard. Now, as you notice, when we're in here, we're also given some readings in real time of the temperature, the amperage, the voltage, as well as the frequency. Inside here we see system tuning. It describes to you what will happen uh, inside this area, what it's all about. You go inside and CPU clock ratio. You see down here that there's a description of what you can do within here, CPU frequency. This tells you that this is your frequency at the moment, so you base clock, internal graphics clock, extreme memory, etc. You can also change the memory timing, you can also alter the voltage. And again, over here in this panel, you're given real time information of what's happening at the moment. You can also change the view. And inside boot, you see boot option priorities. Right now, we only have one drive attached, but if you have several drives attached, you can basically uh, drag and drop the order in which you want your, your hard drive to boot. We also have multi-language and you'll be glad to see that we now have German as well as several other languages. You can also alter fan control. Lots of options here, how your fans will work. And but of course, if you're a power user, you're going to want to use the what we call advanced mode, which is more like the traditional uh, BIOS environment that you'd be used to. And I guess this is still really useful for power users and overclockers. The concept behind 3D BIOS, of course, is for it's targeted at a slightly different audience, people who aren't maybe as used to BIOS uh, as the prosumers or extreme users. So there you have it. This is the all-new 3D BIOS. It's based on our dual UFI BIOS technology.